Even if you made the jump from macOS to Ubuntu, you may feel still like Apple's operating system looks better and still has the edge when it comes to user interface design and general sleekness. But one thing Ubuntu has is flexibility to make it look pretty much however you like. So you can even use themes to make Ubuntu look like the latest version of macOS, Mojave 10.14, with the right tools. And here we'll show you how. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to make Ubuntu look like macOS Mojave. For all users of Ubuntu, there's one area where it falls short where compared to other operating systems, and that is with how it looks. By default, the eye candy of Ubuntu is rather drab. I have never been a fan of the purple and orange colour scheme that greets a fresh installation. Even the dark theme on Windows is a pleasure to use by comparison. For me, personally, darker themes make it easier to concentrate and get things done. However, like all aspects of Canonical's system, Ubuntu is highly customizable, and thanks to a dedicated community, there's a wealth of options users can take advantage of to spice up their desktops. One operating system that's always looked beautiful is Apple's Mac OS. The brand new Mojave marks the 15th release and one of the most striking elements is the deep and rich dark theme that is known as a distraction free way to put your work center stage. The only problem is that Linux users want both the freedom of an open source system and a modern visually pleasing environment. Thankfully Gnome Look provides a number of community created themes and add-ons that can transform Ubuntu from dull to delicious. A version of Apple's Mojave theme is available and is very simple to install. Link in the description. Installation. There are a few prerequisites to make life a little easier, namely to install the GNOME Tweaks tool. You can find this in the Software Center and install it as normal. With that done, go to the website and download the following package. After this, extract the archive file to the themes directory in your home folder. If you don't have a themes folder, then press Control H to show hidden files. If you still don't have the folder, then you can simply create one. Alternatively, you can move it to slash user slash share slash themes, but remember you will need to be root to copy or extract here. Once copied, simply open up the GNOME Tweak tool and change your GTK theme. Lastly, give your system a reboot to ensure that the theme applies correctly and fully. As you can see, once the reboot is done, Ubuntu is transformed into a dark landscape with blue highlights. The theme is so well put together that it will apply to system-wide applications if placed within user share themes, and will even alter some snap applications. The creator of the theme has also given other desktop environments the same love, which means except CE or Cinnamon users can experience some Apple design. Additional tweaks. As a bonus, here are some additional tweaks that you can use to change icons, add a dock and the like for the entire Apple experience. To change the icons, download the Cupertino icon set. Next you need to locate the file you downloaded and right click to extract it, just as before with the theme, copy it to the icons folder. If you do not have this, then you can create it. To create a dock, you first need to install the Plank application from the Software Center. Open the Software Center and search for Plank, then install as normal. Should Plank not be found, you can revert to the PPA that the Docky slash Plank team provide. To install the PPA, open the terminal and enter the following commands. After this, you should be able to install the application with sudo apt-get install Plank. Next, you need to download the Mojave and High Sierra Plank Dock themes. Link in the description. These can then be distracted as previously and moved to the slash local slash share slash plank slash themes folder. The final step is to right click on the blank space within the dock and access the plank preferences. If you can't access the right click, press Alt and F2 and run plank dash preferences. Within the preferences, look for the theme and apply your newly installed theme. What themes do you prefer? Do you like a darker environment or prefer a cleaner, brighter desktop? Let us know in the comments along with any other great themes you've found. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.